What's up, Daydreamers? Welcome back to another Work in Progress Wednesday. Yep, it's Whip Wednesday here again. And today, let's talk about the RX-78 II. This is the Grandpa Gundam Real Grade. Whip Wednesday! Ragtag Daydreams is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. So for this kit, um, this is one that I've actually, I've done the least to, I feel like. I, I started off strong with a lot of high hopes for this kit, um, and for some reason it just, it just never really took off where I really wanted to mess with it after the fact. I basically took all of the runners and, um, and washed them, and then pre-shaded the backs. You can see like right here, okay, pre-shaded the backs of these guys. Um, there's a lot more of them that are done see here yeah a little more of them and it, it just just the backs of the pieces so that whenever it was completely built it would have a nice shadow effect underneath and I could just go from there and, and start building um, and I don't know what's stopped me I mentioned before that I had had the GM sniper 2 and I had done so much work to it it really just needed finishing touches like a final assembly uh, final detail kind of things final wire up and paint like it, it needed the the ending of a kit a little details really little details uh, granted with spraying paint and things like that you're disassembling or i do um and reassembling and, and doing a lot of that kind of back and forth but you know that, that's a lot of cleanup and it's not really a lot of real work at that point with this i started hard, uh, like really good um but i've not put together not one piece of this kit at all sad. It's really sad. It looks like a great kit. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really seen a lot of reviews on it, and it's not that they're not out there. I just, I personally have not tracked down a lot of reviews for this kit. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a great kit or not. Uh, from what I see on the box and that kind of thing, it looks like it's going to look pretty great, like a lot of the RGs are, at least anymore. Uh, but I think this came out around the same time as... Oh, no, this is the 30th anniversary, so that means it came out about 10 years ago. So this came out about 10 years ago, so that was probably around the same time that the RGs were coming out. Um, I know that I did the uh, the Zaku 2 in uh, real grade, and I lost pieces, and that scares me. So um, oh, there's another one that scares me. Hold on, be right back. Yeah, this one scares me a lot. This is supposed to be such a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny kit. It's supposed to be a tiny mobile suit. And then I got it foolishly in real grade because it just it looks badass. But, <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? You know, you got to get kits that you think look cool. So, um, yeah, I, I don't understand what it is. I haven't even started this thing, um, this, uh, this crossbones gun, because I'm scared of losing pieces on it. Why am I doing this to myself? Do you guys have a backlog of stuff that you're, you're intimidated from even starting to build? Because apparently I do, and I think I'm just realizing that it's more than just the crossbones. I'm pretty sure it's with the, the Grandpa Gundam, too. I'm afraid of Gundams? If you also suffer from some sort of intimidation factor when it comes to building kits, let me know below. I'd love to know that I'm not alone in that. And, uh, you know, it's always good to commiserate with a crowd that thinks alike. So drop me a comment, and then I'll know we have something in common. As always, guys, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, because I have a giveaway at 200 subs. And that's going to be great, because it'll be my first giveaway for this channel, and it'll be an exciting milestone. So I hope you can take part in that, and I hope you can help me get there. As always, don't forget to click on these links right here to check out other videos that I put out. And until next time, daydreamers, I'm Justin, your ragtag daydreamer, and I'll see you soon.